If you are hard stuck as a healer, this could be the most important video you ever watch. Let's start with a question. What does it mean to be good at healing? Most people would say having an optimal rotation, trading cooldowns, avoiding CC, and knowing how to position. This is all true, but there is one thing that matters more than most people realize. It's how to correctly use defensive dispels. When used at the right time, dispelling is basically a cheat code that makes your life much easier. But if you don't know what or when to dispel, it's like you're playing the game on hard mode. The goal of this video is to teach you why dispelling is so important and how to use it to your advantage. We will do this first by explaining some simple rules for dispelling, and then building from this with advanced mechanics that make your dispels much faster. We're not joking, this will be one of the biggest improvements you can make as a healer in PvP and is guaranteed to improve your rating. If you want to take things even further, be sure to check out our brand new course just for healers at skillcap.com. This course teaches useful tips to help you deal with the most difficult problems that healers face in every arena game. That's not all though, because for each class, we also have incredibly detailed healing courses that teach you how to maximize your HPS, while also breaking down advanced concepts and easy to follow bite-sized pieces. All of this is backed by a guarantee that you will gain at least 400 rating while using our website. And if you don't, then you shouldn't pay. So visit our link below to get instant access to all of our exclusive website content and start seeing real rating gains at skillcap.com. Anyway, back to the video. Let's start with the most important thing you need to understand as a healer. 90% of the time, you are not going to win the game for your team. Instead, your job is to allow your DPS to win the game for you. For some people, this is a hard pill to swallow. But as a healer, you need to recognize that your DPS needs to be able to maximize damage, land CC, and peel for your team. None of these things are possible if they are stuck in crowd control. This is why in the majority of situations, your dispel should be used on CC. Now, there are a few exceptions to this, with debuffs like Explosive Shot and sometimes even Dots. But since your dispel has a cooldown, it means removing these can open up your DPS to undispellable CC. For now, let's focus on dispelling crowd control, because that is what is really important. The first tool we need for this is Big Debuffs, which is easily one of the most useful add-ons as a healer. This will increase the size of important debuffs on your raid frames, making it easier to see who's stuck in CC. In most cases, you will be wanting to dispel full duration crowd control as fast as possible and as often as you can. Most dispellable CC falls into three categories. The first is long duration crowd control like Polymorph and Fear, which are typically used on your DPS when trying to peel and in some cases are even used to set up kills. You will get the most value from dispelling these effects when they are at their full duration, which is typically anywhere from 5 to 8 seconds. Due to their duration, these debuffs are very high priority dispels because they completely stall your team's pressure, regardless of what comp you're playing. The second category of CC includes roots, which affects melee the most but are even annoying for casters. With that in mind, many melee have their own root dispels, including Tiger's Lust, Blessing of Freedom, Master's Call, and even things like Bladestorm. In solo shuffle, it is pretty safe to assume that your melee will try and use their root breakers first, which means you can typically hold off dispelling roots very early into the game and make it more of a priority later. Finally, you should prioritize dispelling stuns. Though this is not something you will encounter often at higher MMR, since better players typically avoid stunning DPS when there isn't any CC on the healer. But in the rare case that the enemy team uses a dispellable stun like Hammer of Justice or Chaos Nova, these become important to remove quickly since it typically means the enemy team is trying to set up a kill. Against classes with magic stuns, you might need to be a bit careful with how and when you dispel. Here for instance, our Rep Paladin gets put into a sleepwalk, which our Priest then dispels, only for the Paladin to get put into a full Hammer of Justice. If the Rep Paladin was the kill target in this situation, this could have been very deadly. Dispelling full duration crowd control is always important, but there are some specific times where it is absolutely crucial. The first is when your teammate has offensive cooldowns popped. If they use their biggest CD and get instantly locked down, you should assume they are screaming for a dispel. Remember that the game is so damage focused that any DPS loss puts you massively behind. This also includes when your teammates are pushing for CC on enemy healers, or simply just initiating a setup even when no offensives are used. If your team is actively working towards a kill, you need to prioritize keeping them out of CC so that you can help maintain tempo. This also means being ready to dispel when your team is about to land a kill. Here for instance, our DH gets put into a full Frost Nova and the enemy team is cross CC'd with potential follow up with a freezing trap. By quickly dispelling our DH, it allows them to keep up momentum, and despite getting put into another Nova shortly after, our tempo dispel was enough to force Ice Block from the enemy mage. 
you should also keep yourself in mind as a potential dispel target. Here, our priestess suck in a Nova with Fear Ready, with the monk in a vulnerable position. But with a quick dispel, he is able to safely push into the monk while still on Polymorph DR, lending a fear and potentially opening up the possibility for following up with a Freezing Trap. This even goes the other way. Like in moments when it is your team who is under pressure, dispelling CC on your partners can actually be better than healing, especially when you are the kill target because your teammates are the ones who can actually peel for you. Let's pretend you're playing with a Red Paladin. Think of all the tools they have to help you out. They have Bop, Blessing of Sanctuary, Freedom, and Off Heals, like Lay on Hands. If you are getting trained and your Rep Paladin gets CC'd, they cannot do anything to help you, which makes dispelling a super high priority in these moments. You should also be quick to dispel your teammates if they get CC'd while under pressure, and have a major defensive ready. Here, our Priest is stuck in a full hodge all the way across the map, meaning Spirit Link Totem is not an option. Without Trinket ready, this means Life Swap is their last line of defense, which they can't use while stunned. Dispelling the Hodge here would be ideal since it would clear all dots while allowing our Priest to swap. Finally, dispelling your partners out of crowd control can sometimes even allow you to avoid CC on yourself, since your teammates are the ones with interrupts and micro CC. It's pretty common for mages to Nova or even Ring of Frost melee DPS in order to safely push for crowd control on you, the healer. So if you can squeeze in a dispel while this is happening, you can deny unavoidable CC on yourself because your teammate is now free to possibly interrupt. When the enemy team has multiple CC options, this becomes really important. Take a look at the enemy team here. They are loaded with crowd control. That means if our shaman gets CC'd, we need to be quick to dispel, because it means that they are able to use wind shear, grounding totem, tremor, or even knockback to prevent any possibility of the enemy team reversing momentum. By now, you might be asking the question, how do you know who to dispel if both of your DPS are getting CC'd at the same time? Unfortunately, it's not really possible to make a tier list for this situation, since it depends on so many factors. Instead, what we can do is think about each of the scenarios we just covered so we can answer this question accordingly. For the first situation, let's assume your team is setting up a kill and both of your DPS get CC'd. You need to consider who on your team is most relevant for the win condition. When your team is trying to set up a kill with crowd control, it should almost always be the person who is actively trying to control the healer with a CC chain, which has typically classes with high amounts of control like mages, hunters, rogues, and even shadow priests. Otherwise, if someone is integral for setting up lockdown on the kill target with a stun, then they will also be important to dispel. Things can be a bit confusing when both the DPS responsible for CCing the healer and the DPS responsible for stunning get CC'd at the same time. In solo shuffle, we would recommend prioritizing dispels on the DPS who can CC the enemy healer, since they will typically have limited situations where that is possible. Next up, we have a situation where you are the kill target and both your DPS get CC'd. Here, you need to think about the utility each one of your DPS has. For instance, both of our DPS get CC'd. Now, we want you to take a guess at who we should dispel in this situation. One thing we should consider is the posture of the enemy melee. Both are sprinting directly towards us, and both the Windwalker and the Paladin have stuns available. All things considered, this should mean that our Paladin is the optimal dispel here, since they can sank or even bop us if needed. Even if you aren't playing with a hybrid, you should think about who on your team can save you. If you're playing with a class that has spammable CC, like mages, warlocks, or rogues, then they also make great dispelling targets for the simple reason that they have so much control for keeping you alive. Finally, if you are worried about getting CC'd, then it becomes more important to dispel players with multiple disruptive tools. Enhanced and Elemental Shamans are great examples, since keeping them dispelled means that they can break your team out of fears with Tremor Totem or shut down Casted CC with Wind Shear and Grounding Totem. Any class that is highly disruptive is worth the dispel so that they can keep you out of CC. Sometimes there is no obvious answer to the question of who should be dispelled first, and that's totally fine as long as you are dispelling quickly. And for that, let's wrap things up with some advanced mechanics that can increase your dispelling speed. Again, you will need big debuffs for this, no exceptions. We also recommend having Gladius, or at the very least, some way of tracking enemy cast bars. Anyway, the first thing is to think about who has CC on the enemy team. The typical culprits are anything with spammable crowd control, like mages and warlocks. Then, anything with a root effect, if you are playing with a melee. When it comes to dispelling casted CC, you should periodically glance at the enemy's cast bars, you can do this in a few different ways. Gladius is one option, but you could also glance at nameplate cast bars, or even see enemy casts by having them on focus. Anytime you see a polymorph, fear, or ring of frost being cast, you might want to consider holding your global, if that's possible. 
then your eyes should immediately look at your raid frames where you will use big debuffs to see who it was cast on. Assuming it's a full duration CC, you are now in a position to quickly dispel within a second of the cast landing. To see this in action, let's look at the game against Devil Mage. Up to this point, our Ellie Shaman was the kill target. But here we can see the mage casting Polymorph, which we can assume is meant for our hunter, since we are probably out of range. So to be safe, our priest moves slightly out of LOS, and then notice it was the hunter who gets put in Polymorph, which we easily see with big debuffs. After a quick dispel, they are back in the fight. At higher ratings, you need to be faster with dispels against classes with spammable CC, since many mages will anticipate the dispel in order to cast a follow-up. Here for instance, our hunter gets polyed out of their range, which causes our initial dispel to be late, and in anticipation of this, the mage casts another polymorph instantly. Instant CC is a bit harder to play around, but there are a few clues that can help. Let's think about something like Mortal Coil, which Warlocks will typically use before casting Fear or even setting up damage on DPS. The first coil of the game will be hard to predict, but once it's been used, it means you can now track the cooldown with Omnibar. This will allow you to predict when coil will be used next. Whenever it's coming off of CD, you should get your dispel ready. Once it's been used, it will show up on big debuffs, but here you need to take a brief moment to check what the Warlock is casting next. If you dispel the coil and the Warlock instantly casts fear, your DPS might be then stuck in a longer CC. If instead the next cast is a damaging spell, then the coil dispel will be the correct play. This requires you to act quickly, but is key to making the most intelligent decisions with your dispel. Finally, you can even use enemy positioning to predict when an instant cast CC will be used. Let's pretend you're playing with a melee against a mage. Obviously, the mage will want to keep distance from your team most of the time, which means if they start running towards your melee, then it could signal a Frost Nova or Dragon's Breath is coming. Of course, this is a lot to pay attention to as a healer, but you should already be monitoring enemy position anyways, especially mages. As a healer, it can feel like you have no impact on the game, until you realize how powerful it is to have quick dispels. Not only will you start winning more games, but you will feel more confident in your ability to carry your team by keeping them out of crowd control. And if you truly want to improve, be sure to check out our brand new healing course using the discount link below. This course goes hand in hand with all of our incredible healing guides, which teach you rank one fundamentals and easy to follow steps. All of this and more is why we're able to offer a rating game guarantee. If you don't go up at least 400 rating while actively using our guides, then you shouldn't pay. Visit the links below to get started on your next PvP journey today. Anyways guys, that wraps it up for this one. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and as always, we want to thank you all for watching. See you soon.